Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how to scribe a board uh, and I'm using a scribing tool, this is probably available on Amazon, I'll try and show you one and it's nothing but a compass uh, specially designed to, to be used as a, a scribing tool so it holds a pencil and you can move the pencil in and out and you can adjust the length and I'll show you all that as we do it so you get the board as close as you can. In this case, it can't get very close. You see we're, what, six, eight inches away. And you set the tool to the widest point. Um, and then you just follow it. So oh, let's see, from the bottom. I think I'd do better from the bottom. And it will move in with the curve. Am I leaving the line down there? Yes. Oops. It wasn't keeping level. And you can't see me at the bottom here. Had I not had the bed here, life would have been a lot simpler. But the bed's in, and so that's just the way it is. So, you say that's pretty awful. It is pretty awful. What's going to happen is, we're going to cut this and then come back and set it close where it will be very, very close to the wall and then it will be good. So in other words, this is sacrificial cut just to get close to the wall and then we will move it in, rescribe it and hopefully that one will be pretty and look nice. Okay, so I've come outside, I put it on the table, I'm using clamps uh, here and here to hold it down so it's not blobbing around on me. I use my jigsaw, all our tools are my old cordless, and I used ink and just did my wildest best guess. This is a practice run to get as close as we can, that's all. We'll try to make the nice cut, the next cut, nice, and we're going to lose an inch off of it, but that's fine, we can lose an inch off this. See what happens. So that's about as far as I can go that way. My lovely assistant will uh, assist them. So this isn't going to be great, but it's going to close. That's all we care about right now is that we get close. So hopefully the next one will be great. Right. So I've made a first cut. It's wildly in the ballpark, hopefully. Let's see how wildly in the ballpark we are. Uh, not terribly far off. I mean, I'm the king of half-assed. I would probably say that was good enough, but I'm looking at Terry laughing and frowning at me and saying, shaking his head and saying, that is nowhere near good enough, Bob. It's going to be, on. though. It's going to be. But it's actually surprisingly good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I think we're going to have to cut this off a lot, aren't we, to get in? We'll see. Don't you think? Uh, to get in like... Like him, like that much? Yes. Would you say? Yes. Terry's the guy. I I depend on Terry. He's I'm doing everything Terry has taught me how to do. So. Yeah. Like that corner? Huh? Yep. That's good. Okay. Do your scribe though. So uh, on the scribe now, because we're right butted up close to the wall, we don't have this really long. See, this is hard to work with. 
you're, you're not going to get, you saw how, what a terrible job it did. Now I can get, you know, like that close. Okay, so uh, now you can see I'm just holding it straight up against the wall. I'm not guessing or hoping I'm somewhere near it. I might, oh, let's do it all over again. Uh, yeah, I can look at it. That looks great. Well, it keeps moving. I'm not getting it tight enough. Now again, this would be a lot easier if we didn't have the bed uh, in the way. Oops, come on. Okay, so uh, we've cut it, we've got to dry test it again. Terry, how'd we do? We did pretty good. We're, we're, we've moved it just a bit forward now, so we're, we're sort of hitting on the bolts here and uh, it lines up really nice. We just have a little bit of a trim up above and, uh, and we'll move it in after we cut that and it'll be right up against those bolt heads and we, we're just going to let it sit there and call it good and, uh, and then uh, round this corner here and do a little sanding and then we'll be done with this panel yeah. I think. Yeah, I think so. But we, we may have to check the, the distance out from the wall to match the back panel. We'll still right. discuss that for his shelf. This might be too wide before we round and cut that. Uh, everything we do we discuss in great lengths off yes. the camera. <laughs> but you see how we scribed it and how that came up pretty nice using that you know, scribe tool. You can do the same thing with a compass. If you don't have one of these, it's just a kid's compass works. And as you get closer, I don't know if you want me to tell them all this, but as you get closer to the final thing, you can just stick like a piece of wood or a pencil up and then slide your pencil like that and follow the line and that'll help you scribe it as well. There's lots of ways to do it. This is just what we're doing right now. Right, and some people, you know, it's not an expensive tool, five, ten bucks. It was about fifteen. Fifteen. Uh, and if you do much build, you'd really be glad you had one. It comes with a pencil sharpener. Ah, good. Uh, Got to have a pencil sharpener. It comes in handy. Ah. Okay. So there you have it. Uh, scribing a, a, a wall panel to make it in Pretty nice. Again, you know, it's not uh, it's not the world's best, but boy, it's good enough for me. So you can do this too using these simple techniques. And if you want to jury rig a uh, just a wood, here's what another thing you can do is just use a wood pencil uh, ruler, foot long ruler, drill a hole the size of the pencil, put the pencil through, and use that as your compass. Uh, for the long distance and then Terry just showed you how to do it in the short distance with just another pencil behind it uh, on top of each other. Okay, we'll move on from there and we'll look at the next subject. So stay tuned for that.